Today I'm going to show you how to configure a D-Link wireless router, Wi-Fi router. This is the D-Link router, double antenna. With the D-Link router, you will get this power <coughs> connector and this blue colored cable. That's for the PC connecting. So first of all, plug on your power connector. Then on the blue port, put <coughs> your cable broadband connection cable broadband connection or any kind of wireless uh, sorry modemless broadband connection direct broadband connection then this blue cable on the USB LAN port any of this port and that LAN port cable blue cable goes directly into your PC now we have to configure it at first go to your <coughs> internet connection settings local cable connection LAN settings go to the properties then in the TCP IP option go to properties in case of your word, uh, word broadband connection you will get an static IP address mask gateway address uh, primary DNS this kind of things put into here so you need to select obtain IT IP automatically obtain DNS automatically these options you need to select then press ok then close now switch on your now switch on your router after switch it on you will see <coughs> that this LED options will blink 1 2 4 these are the ports available this is the internet connect connectivity source Now to set up your router, open any browser. I am opening the Google Chrome browser. After opening it, after opening your Google Chrome browser, go to 192.168.0.1. That's the D-Link administrator login page go to the setup option <coughs> click on the setup option then go to internet connection setup wizard then press next give the administrative password the default password is admin but we have changed it and I, I recommend you also change it select your time zone I mean press next this is the main page these options depends on your net uh, internet connectivity option if you have a modem connection then you need to select an username password option since I have that IP address given on the <coughs> cable broadband so I need to select static IP address connectivity if you have a dongle or 4G connection select 4G or LTE 3G connectivity so after selecting the static IP option because I have a broadband connection cable cable broadband connection without modem so static IP option then go to next here I need to put my IP address DNS these things then press next and go to connect option it will take a few seconds to connect see after getting the proper uh, configuration your <coughs> d-link option will show internet online you can see it internet online now you can open any page that you like but since it's an cable broadband service that means it has been given through any server of like manthan or visnet or uh, um, any other option so that will <coughs> redirect you to their server for your login purpose see that has been redirect to alliance broadband service for my login purpose then press the login and now your internet is on look your web page is 
working now check one thing on your router that <laughs> after proper configuration and your uh, internet connectivity is on on your desktop you will see that your router will show you this globe option is blinking that means your internet connection on that's the right signal is blinking that means everything is fine that's the wireless router wi-fi option that means you can now connect your tab mobile or laptop to wi-fi and the number one port is active because we have put the <coughs> LAN cable on the number one port that means everything is working fine so i hope you have enjoyed that uh, configuration process of d-link <coughs> wi-fi router and your internet is on on your d-link Happy login, happy browsing.